Okay, here's my second video. Um, it's just following on from the first one. What I'm going to tell you today is just what settings you need to have your N4 on, and also the settings on your tractor, what they need to be on for it to for you to get the time code vinyl. First of all, when you're setting up the Audio 6 interface, you would always have the outputs from the audio interset, uh, interface online, um, and then, like, then going into your mixer, into your line mix with a line on your mixer, and then that's how you would get your sound. But however, on the N4, you should have your output routers on the back. It's a bit of squeeze for to fully show you. So this these buttons here, they need to be you need to have them on phono um on both of them and also you need to have your switch down there and set to time code. Um so yeah, that's how you need to have set up on the back of the M4. On About messing about, but on, on the tractor, your tractor settings, what you want to be doing is go to your settings configuration, your audio output, and you want to have your monitoring on your back left and back right, your master output on your front left and front right. That's to so you can hear your sound and obviously monitor. But where what's important is your input routing. So if you can see that on your input routing, you want your front, front left and front right onto deck A, and front center and low frequency effects on input B. And there are your inputs, and then what you'll see is when you run your time code, you'll get a signal. You see the signal? Um, same applies to deck B. And there you go on deck B. Now that basically is the tone controlling the signal. Uh, your, your song, so you can see them now both spinning. But anyway, I just thought I'd show you that in case people was wondering how you would have it set up on the N4 so you get your time code signal coming through. Uh, but there you have it anyway. Uh, more videos are going to come. I'm going to try and do a scratch video. I'm not very good, but I'm going to try and do a scratch video on both vinyl. And I'm going to show you what your scratch is like on the M4. Uh, a couple of the guys have requested it. But anyway, see you soon.